Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 16th of September. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Superloop, Temple and Webster, Heramed, Gallon Lithium and Woodside. So if you have a request, send it through. Make sure you're getting the free newsletter, but if you'd like our better ideas, you need to get the Dynamic Investor Report that comes out every Tuesday. Just remember our core business is in portfolio management, so if you'd like to open a broking account with me and, and have me help you directly, then please let me know. And all the advice here is general only. So looking at um, Superloop over the last sort of couple of years, we could see in the last year particularly it's been been stuck in a, in a fairly obvious range. Um, so as we zoom in, we can see that that range here. Now at the moment it's getting towards the top of that range. So clearly to be buying it here, you've got a short distance until it hits resistance and a long way down until support. So the risk reward doesn't stack up to be buying it right here, even though short term it looks like it wants to head higher. I'd prefer to see what it does um, through this resistance line first. So I think given the fact that it's this resistance line has been in place for a year. I think any eventual break up here for, for Superloop could lead to a fairly swift rally where initially it'll you'd be looking at a retest of $1.25. But first things first, it needs to, to crack this um, resistance line first. Temple and Webster. Um, obviously, look, looking back over the last year, very volatile. Um, the daily ranges are very large, um, so in some some respects, quite a dangerous stock to be in. We can see it trading between about, you know, as low as eighteen dollars and as high as fifteen. Um, so fairly, yeah, fairly volatile. Um, most recently, it's it's managed to crack to a managed to crack to a new high, but comprehensively sold down. Um, and we could see the decent volume as well. So sort of rejecting those those new highs. Just looking at the last few days here, it's looking it's looking okay. It seems we've found a bit of support. Um, you know, the range is tightening up uh, and then breaking higher yesterday. But, you know, it needs, I think if you're holding it here, you'd have to run a tight stop because it is very close to these these resistance levels here. Um, so it still looks vulnerable. It really needs to clear all of this. Otherwise, you know, it is at risk of falling back again. Okay, Heramed, HMD. So a nice, nice run up here earlier in the year. Um, if we're looking at the, the higher lows and the higher highs, we could see here in early July. So if that was the, the previous low, we could see it broke that. So that was the first sign of, of some weakness. Um, so it broke the uptrend there and it's been drifting back ever since. I mean, there seems to be some support around this sort of 18 cent region. We could see there's been a few turning points here. So it's tried to bounce off that. Um, so look, it's trying trying to rally. I, I think it'd be better um, if, it could, if we could see it hold above 20 cents. I'm um, just looking at Just looking at this sort of previous resistance level here, I think if it can hold above 20 cents, then it's looking looking much better. So just be interesting to see what it can do in the next few days. Uh, gallon lithium, so massive run up over the last year. Sort of very nice uptrend there. Most recently when it peaked in August, it came back sharply to the prior prior sort of low area, um, the prior breakout, uh, and then it's managed to hold on. But what's what's interesting is it sort of consolidated here sideways. Um, and yesterday actually it gapped up um, on pretty good volume. So um, I'd say this is a, a buy signal here and it looks like this one should continue to, to trend higher. Okay, finally Woodside. So we had, um, we had support here just under $22. 
Um, so it broke that in August and we could see on big volume as well. So a break of support, it's been sliding away, um, heavy selling. Now it has bounced in the last couple of days, but obviously this line here will provide um, quite a bit of resistance. So the old support line um, is very strong resistance now. So really for this to start looking good again, it really needs to overcome this level first. Otherwise, if it starts to get sold down around here, um, I think it's at risk of heading sort of back to this $18 eighteen dollar level so I couldn't be buying Woodside here with very strong resistance close by. Okay and that's all for this week. Um, if you have a request send it through I'll try to look at the stock next week for you.